That's my best friend. That's my best friend. All right, everybody. It's your boy Dave Mo. Dave Mo flips. I don't know why I'm carrying my jump box like it's a baby. I feel like I got a crazy nose hair too. Any which way. Uh, a lot of people out here talking about you can't buy cars, you can't do this, you can't do that. So, I don't know, man. I just changed up the way I buy. So, I don't know if I showed you guys this one. This right here, that's the Benz. Um, she runs, drives. I got this from a private seller. Let me put my jump box down. Don't fuck it up too much. Um... When I got it, so I paid six thousand for it. I think no, sixty three. I paid. Uh, it was missing this, that emblem, which is inside the car, and the bottom has uh, right down there chrome, which is in the trunk. I never know how to open this bad boy. Hold on. I'm actually taking this thing home tonight to get it finished, and then. Uh, to get it finished so I could I'm gonna wholesale this bad boy so the seats a little fucked up you know what I mean but one look at that 122 on the clock um and nothing to hide I'll show you oh shit it's still got a tag on it 422 all right so I'm gonna drive it just like with that tag fuck it uh <laughs> shit I guess uh damn I got too many tags so, anyways, we got that thing, right? Um, sorry, man. Today was an office day, which to means I was out here working. Uh, and again, let's go back, you know, for the past four or five months, right? Because people have been bitching about, about that long. You see this one right here? I don't know if you guys are watching the videos from uh, where I buy it. But here, check it out. This is a 08... Uh, G35, you can see the damage in the front. Headlight, bumper, grill, and the hood could probably be fixed, but I can get the hood for 200. Um, TRA sale, TRA buy. 107 on the clock, 08, okay. So, why do I feel like I'm so, damn. Anyway, uh. Seven hundred dollars with the fees and everything. It was nine fifteen. Oh shit! I didn't even know that the tail light was broken. This may have happened here. I don't know a hundred percent. Anyway, uh, so this this is the beauty, the beautiful thing about the TRA sale. Is sometimes you'll get something like this. Okay, so I got this. And they said that it did not run. You can see what says MC on the window. It doesn't stand for Motorcycle Club. That means it's mechanical. So, uh, I don't know who did what they did to it, but someone stole the guts to the keys, okay? So I could not get this thing started. Had to get a key. I got the, the, um, I got the computer. Cost like 700 bucks, and we rekeyed it ourselves. So we saved, I think they, they quoted us like $165 to do it the key cost 20 on amazon rekeyed it turns out the spark plug in cylinder one was blown out we went we got a plug and a coil put it in today turned it on seems it, i was she was running just fine we did not we put it in gear you can see she's still strapped down you can see as soon as you put it in reverse boom she engaged we put it in drive boom she engaged there is um a rubber piece missing on one of the intakes so we're going to get that tomorrow, hook that up, take her down and take her up and down the road. If she does run and drive, we will uh, repair all the front. This right here, this is not my car. This is my homeboys. So this, I want to say, is a 07 BMW 528. Um, he bought this straight for eBay. So it came in. They announced motor damage on this thing. Um... I'm trying to think right now. Actually, it starts. So the issue with this one is once you take your foot off the brake, it always goes back to park. Now, there is a reset for it on the transmission. He chooses not to fuck with cars. Um, he would have taken this car 
cleaned it, washed it, and put it right up on eBay just the way it is. Me, on the other hand, I'll kind of fuck with them a little bit to try to, you know, every now and again, you'll get something like this that pays. This, you, you could reset the transmission and it might work perfect. I don't know. Anyway, he only paid 1500 for this. It's got like 107,000 miles, just like the G35. Um, it's probably locked because he locks all his cars and takes his keys with him. But again, whatever, he's in this for 1500 out the door. Um, I want to say you guys already seen this Cadillac. This is a 14 Cadillac and he's an engine. Uh, the engine, I think, is like 1500 bucks. It's got 144 on the clock. She's dirty again, but I could put up some pictures and make, make her look good. But again, you know, the times have changed. So you can either A, overpay, right? You can overpay at the, I don't, I'm going to walk around it because I don't know that I ever walked around to show you guys. And she's dirty as hell. Uh, you overpay at the auction right now. A hundred percent. You can overpay. Or you can find out ways to beat MMR. So... Clearly with the G35, I'm going to be under MMR if she runs and drives. If I put the engine in this car, I'm going to be under MMR, right? And that's that's what we're talking about here. Because MMR is just a guideline. But right now, if you're looking at sales of vehicles, it's well above MMR. This one I picked up. And again, I hope you guys are watching the videos because you would see that everything I'm saying, I'm not talking shit. I think I bought this one for $2,200. It's an 08 nissan pathfinder um oh well shit the sticker's still on it 120 on the clock okay this was supposed to be oh, i got off the window down damn it um this was supposed to be a run and drive vehicle it did not and it's closed so in the back here on the passenger side it's got like a power bank with a bunch of fuses and relays someone went in there and fucked with it typical Mannheim bullshit really okay just be ready for that type of stuff so I'll go to LKQ tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna pull one out of another car, come here, hook it up, turn the key, and hopefully she does in fact run and drive. I love this Pathfinder. I got a thing for Pathfinders. Um, if you guys watched the lot, you know that this is the, the Audi still sitting here. So, Pathfinder, sunroof. I guess I could just show you the inside because, I mean, window's down, right? So it's nice. Look, the dashboard's not even cracked up. You know how the Amadas and the Titans always had that shit fucked up. Down there is an old power box, but that's from an 05 Altima, so it didn't have everything we needed. Um, third row, I don't know if you guys can see it. This thing's nice, sunroof. This thing's really nice. Again, this MMR and this one was 4,500. Look it up. It's an 08. Look it up. Do your own homework. Don't believe me. Don't believe a word any of these motherfuckers say, myself included. Look this shit up for yourself. Believe nothing. None of what you hear, half of what you see. Look it up. Do your own homework. I'm in this thing for probably about 24 all fees. Plus to getting it home. Um, if it does run and drive, shit. Who gives a fuck? I'll put it up for 49. Dump it. Make a quick 1500 two grand after we get talked down. Um, this is my Denali. I picked this up from somebody. Uh, this thing was 2500 Kind of overpaid for this one, I do believe. Um, the interior needs work. The headliner's coming down. But I always do well with these. Um, I always get about four grand for them. So the interior is a bit chewed up, but I could just change the front two seats. Only like, I want to say maybe like 180, 190 on the clock. But the body's there. She's straight, you know. I mean, she's not going to win any awards by no means. I'll detail the shit out of her. She was looking real good. Uh, initially, they sold it because it had a, a bad sunroof thing. So I was able to fix that. And I can tell you guys how to fix it if you ever run into an issue with these GMs, GMCs. Hold the, the button forward for the sunroof. It's a reset. And it'll automatically just reset. So that's what ended up happening with this one. Really nice. Really nice. This Volvo right here. Uh... So this again, this is this is from somebody, okay? This is me doing my homework, staying on Marketplace. Let me tell you something. Right now, guys, if you think you're just gonna sit back and just buy at the auction and keep your feet up, sipping your coffee, drinking whatever it is you like to drink, you're wrong. Right now, if you're gonna make money with cars, 
you need to beat up the block. Straight up and down, you need to be on Marketplace, on Craigslist. You need to be on every fucking auction. You need to have a mechanic that's ready to, to, to put in work the whole nine yards right now if you're going to make money. You know, if you're not, you're going to sit there and be one of these other people that just want to whine and bitch about it. Whining and bitching ain't going to pay the bills. I'll tell you that right now. So let's keep it moving. Back to this, uh, this Volvo. This is an ACV issue. Uh, straight up and down. This thing's got 137. The interior is rough. I did the video on how to fix the sunroof leak. Uh, I think I'm into this thing for 600 bucks right now. When I had got it, it had a bit of a jerk to it. So uh felt like the transmission was slipping, took it, told ACV, arbitrated it. They sent me to Volvo. Of course, Volvo said it had a transmission problem. They credited me like a thousand dollars, making my cost all in six hundred. And after I did a full tune-up, I did a tune-up, uh the mechanic did something to do with the transmission software. I don't necessarily know what that even means. He could have just fucked me over. I don't know. <laughs> but no, nah, I trust my guy. Um, she runs fine. So he needs a steering wheel angle sensor thing. I don't know. This right here is a 2011 Journey. I'm into this one for... And again, guys, I'm just showing you that you can still buy cars. I'm still buying cars. I bought this thing, I think, last week or the week before last. This right here, 2011 Dodge Journey. Um, sorry, guys. 2011 Dodge Journey, 150 on the clock. Uh, auction announced, bad engine. Could I cannot get this thing to start, all right? I cannot get it to start. Uh... Switched out the wheels. So this, these are hubcaps, and I put the wheels on that black one. Um, thank you, Joe. Joe always, always holding me down, always hooks me up, makes me do things I don't want to do. Gets the lazy out of me sometimes. So what this thing does, when you crank it, it just shoots an oil from like what looks to be like the filter across the intake and then just dumps out. So spoke to Leroy about it. He thinks it's a simple fix. He's thinking it's just not building up enough pressure because of the oil. Um, I told him I'm going to put it on eBay. I sought all my eBay sales at $200, no reserve, and just see where it ends up. Most of the times, you don't get paid on eBay on the first two or three go-rounds. It's annoying. It's definitely a way just to list more cars, and eventually they'll sell and you get paid. But in the meantime, while it's on eBay, I told him, take it to the shop look at it you know throw me two hours of diagnostics if you can fix it fix it i'll pull the listing fuck them. if you can't i'd rather not burn time look at this this is like a like a party over here so again this is what it is look at someone like that that platinum vodka that's that that's that what is that extra smooth i had to pick me up a bottle for tonight this is my boy, my boy's transverse, traverse, transverse, whatever the fuck they call these stupid things. I don't know too much about this one. I don't know what he paid for it, but I do know he's selling it as is. I think this one's broken. But again, he, he likes to buy cars like me that are broken and just sell them broken on eBay. Like he'll just sell them the way they are. He'll say whatever the auction announces, but he won't even have the mechanic look at them. Where me, I want the mechanic to look at them because what happens if someone misdiagnosed it? Keep in mind, guys, when they go to the TRA sale, especially if it's a repo, they're to the TRA sale. If that thing doesn't start, it doesn't jump off, it doesn't do whatever, you think that guy getting paid 10, 15 bucks an hour in 90 degree weather is gonna sit here and try to fuck with their car? Highly unlikely. Anyway, back to the business. This one I picked up about a month ago. This was, I think, one of my first buys from TRA this go-around. 2014 Dodge Journey. I want to say this thing had like 100,000 miles when I picked it up. Um, I've been driving it. So this thing had a bad head gasket. I'm into this thing, right? I think I was in it for 24. I'm in it for 34 right now. Again, I want to say MMR on this one was also in the, in the $4,500, uh, $5,000 range. 
It doesn't have like the big screen or nothing nice like that. The mileage will carry it. The mileage is gonna be exactly what carries this thing. Swapped out the wheels, put these things on today. Um, you know, here's what, is <laughs> another one of my tags. I gotta really take better care of my shit. Uh, but yeah, so this is it. Like I said, I've been driving this one. It's got some love, you see it. But again, it's, it's just a nice little car, you know? And again, I'm in it for less than MMR. So, you know, while everyone is out here paying top dollar for cars, right? Months ago, months ago, when you watch my videos and I said, hey, I think something's going to happen. I wasn't telling you 100% because I don't know, but I could tell you in my heart of hearts, I felt like this was, the, was, was coming. I felt like this was the inevitable. So I just flipped the script. I started doing it a different way. This, ah, motherfucker. This right here is mine. It's a 05 Nissan Altima. Um, you know, I'm not too familiar with the mileage. 150, 200, who cares? Again, I got this from Marketplace. Um, no air conditioning when I got it. Those yellow marks are new. Someone obviously hit something or something hit it here. Uh, door handles, right? I paid 400 bucks for this car, guys. This is a cheap, quick flip, right? So I'll just wash it, even though the paint looks like shit. I'll wash it, throw some armor all on the tires. You're gonna notice, Joe noticed today. I have hubcaps in the rear and rims on the front. I don't know how that happens. But nonetheless, it does happen, okay? And again, this is just doing your homework, right? So if someone wanted whatever they wanted and I offered 400 for it, and the AC compressor was $45. And uh, I think Leroy charged like 50 to put it in to, and uh, service it. So that was that. Done. Um, I'll sell this motherfucker for 15. I don't care. Two grand out the door. It's still a Nissan. This is my Benz. Truthfully, guys, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I was trigger happy. And this is what happens. I'm not gonna lie. When you have too many high lifes, and you want to sit here and act like JoJo go, you know, whatever. Fuck, I was going to say something. I don't want to get called out for saying some crazy shit. This is what you get. You get a piece of shit 2000 CLK with a black wrap and AMG driving performance. This is not an AMG car. AMG right now would be pissed if they seen this. Um, it needs a radiator. I haven't even bought it. It's only $40. The window's down. I don't know what the fuck's going on in there. I mean, it doesn't look that bad on the in inside, you know. Uh, I don't really know the mileage. This back window's fucked up. I bought it thinking that these windows went up and down, but in this year it doesn't. So I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. So if it goes up and down, I'll just go take one, put it in, done. Um, the rubber's not too bad on it. It's not too good. But again someone really wanted the floss like someone was really like yo i want to show everyone i got an amg no one really you got a dog this thing is shit anyways though i'll fix it i'll put the radiator in it leroy will get it back up and going and we'll send it down the road for two grand because i think i'm in this thing for about 13 right now and as you can see someone hit it here that grill is fucked up from here that happened at this lot um and that's really, you know, oh, my truck up there, I forgot. And then I got like two more cars at the house. So here's another tra transverse, traverse. It's my boy Joe's. Joe, uh, he's one of the coolest dudes you guys are ever going to meet. I promise we are going to do the video on financing. But Joe doesn't like to chill the fuck out. So he actually did the motor on this car and everything. It's probably in it for something neighbor like 45, I think. Take that with a grain of salt because I'm not 100% sure. But this is a beautiful truck. This thing, a little SUV, this thing is real, real nice. Um, but he'd rather make less money and sell cars every day. You know what I mean? So he, he, this is probably going to be the last car that he actually fixes up and holds on to because they don't sell fast enough for him. And keep in mind, if you're in it for 45, you probably want to see 65, maybe six, even 55. And right now, it's a weird time to sell cars. 
It's a weird time. But anyways, it's a nice car. Well, people are bitching, they can't get cars. Can't get cars, can't get cars. Doing it wrong, man. Marketplace special, here we go. This is a 2011 Expo. I was driving it. I went up to the, uh, when I was when I was up north, went to the Carolinas in this thing. She's straight, she's good. I'm into this one. I wanna say maybe 63? No, six even, six even. I doubt it might be open. Um, third row, of course. Oh, good, no license plate. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be seeing that. It's decent shape. I mean, this seat I think is a little ripped right there. You know, it's got the backup camera, the sunroof. It's got you know everything that you want. Again, you know, out here I'm gonna probably get that thing off for about nine grand. Um. I'm not bragging, I'm not boasting. What I'm telling you guys is, if you work hard and stick to your game, you'll find cars to buy. I mean, look, this guy just bought this today. I just got in here, I don't know anything about it. I don't even know how much he spent on it. But, anyways, that's the truth of the matter, guys. Like, you're gonna hear a lot of YouTubers and a lot of dealers and everyone telling you, oh, we can't buy cars. Oh, it's not good right now. Oh, the prices are so high. I honestly feel like a lot of people want to say that to you to scare you away from the game. But I'll tell you right now, I'm not having trouble. Like, we're not having trouble. Oh, I forgot about the Kobo. Are we buying frontline ready cars? Not so much, no. We're not buying cars that we're gonna just come here clean and, and put up for sale. That's not where we're at today. Where we're at today is buying cars that need some work, putting some work into it, or just selling them broken on eBay, but letting people know what's wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? You could almost say you're passing the savings along. Because if you're mechanically inclined, and let's just say that, that G35, if I'm in it for 915, I did nothing to it, and I put it up for no reserve auction and i ended up walking away with 1600 1700 still put you know five six seven hundred in my pocket doing nothing doing absolutely nothing so keep that in mind it's not the most amount of money but again you start doing 10 a month you know you're making seven to ten grand a month and again that might not excite you maybe you guys think that's a million dollars it doesn't matter you got to get in your lane if that money doesn't excite you, then double it. Then buy more and double that. If that if you're good with that number, then do that. If you don't need that much, do less. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about what other people are doing. The biggest thing in life you could do is compare yourself to somebody else because you don't know how the fuck they got there. Stay in your lane, keep your 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 eye on the prize, and do what's best for you. Like don't worry about what Joe Schmo is doing. Don't worry about how this guy does it. Don't compare yourself to dealers that have three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars of inventory and you're sitting here selling cars like this. If that's where you want to be, one day you'll be there. Because you don't know if they got a floor plan. You don't know if mommy and daddy hit them off. You don't know if they got a rich wife, rich husband. You don't know any of that shit. You only know what they tell you. And what did I just tell you? Believe none of what you hear. None of what you hear. Half of what you see. Because out here, especially car dealers, anyone that does sales, anyone who does sales, generally speaking, they're full of shit. Straight up and down, they're full of shit because they want to come off to be something more than they are, so you want to buy from them. Man, it doesn't matter to me. Believe me or don't, it ain't going to make no hell of a difference to me. I promise you that. I don't mean that to be disrespectful, and I hope you're not taking it as such. I don't... You, it doesn't make me money. This this right here, to me, like I said, it's 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 just what I do. You know? But with that being said, guys... Moral of the story, you could buy cars. Look at different places if the places you were looking at are too high. Don't be afraid to venture out. If you want to buy cars like that that need problem that have problems, 
I already showed you in videos how to look at the motors, how to look at the transmissions, how to figure out the amount of labor it's gonna cost you. Find a mechanic that you, you can actually count on, give the car, they fix it, and now you got yourself a little nice car. In the beginning, it's gonna be slow as fuck. It's gonna be slow as fuck because you can only do one, two, three cars, right? But once you get to a point where you're dumping 10 cars and you have three different mechanics at three different places, you might say to yourself, hey, you know what? I'm doing well enough where I'm gonna hire two mechanics just for myself. And instead of spending 500 to do an engine swap, I'm gonna pay these mechanics 800 a week. I promise you, in here, in here in Florida, I pay a mechanic 800 a week. I'm already killing it. I'm, I'm already probably paying the most, okay, in Florida. So they're gonna wanna come to work for you, right? Now, if they bang out two motor swaps in one week and you were paying 500, you're already saving 200. But now, and that's each. But now if you're able to hit them up and they're doing three or four a piece, like, cause you'll, you'll, you'll get to know like Buicks, Hondas, um, even that G35, a good mechanic could have that motor in and out in a day and a half, right? So if they did three of those cars, three engines on those cars right there, that's five, 10, 1500 you would have spent. One mechanic, you just paid him 800, maybe you hit him off, you know, oh, yo, good job. You know, here's a little something for you. You're doing good. You, you see what I'm saying? But you grow to that. You get there. Anyways, guys, I'm a rambling motherfucker. I apologize. I'm hot. I need something to drink. I got to, you know, the Ben's got the plate. I got to go to LKQ in the morning and get parts. Not, it's one of my favorite, not favorite things to do. But anyways, guys, listen, again, just keep looking. I'll show you. You know what? I'm not going to stop the video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to come back and show you the two other cars I have at the house that I got to get done. Um, the Benz is going to go on ACV, which doesn't make sense to me. So I'll get back to you. All right, I'm out. All right, what's up, guys? So I'm back. I'm home. Um, that's some shit here I got to take care of. So I told you I had a few more cars at the house. Uh, my girl's driving the Volvo right now. She hates that car. Let me tell you, man. She's been trying to me get me to get rid of it for a minute now. This is my other baby. This is a, a 08 uh denali yukon denali so let's go over it um i drive this one this is what i like big trucks wheels ain't too crazy i think they're just 24s so it still has a decent ride to it um it's nice it's a good looking truck you know <laughs> finally no tag so the XL, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the XL means that it's on the uh, Suburban frame. Uh, this is a marketplace deal. Got this jump off for 6000 The guy wanted 7500 for it. Damn it, I did not even close my door. I mean, it's nice. It's got the black. It smells so good. And in there. The only thing that's fucked up is the... Uh, it's dark. Can't really tell, but the rear screen thing is missing. So I think it was like a hundred bucks. I'll pick it up. Um, everything rocks, works. This thing drives awesome. Um, I want to say I think it's got about 180, 170. This bad boy right here was a package deal. I picked this thing up, and this is a 04 or 05. I picked this thing up as a Z71 Avalanche. I picked this up. <laughs> I said it like four times five now i picked this up with that the black denali that you seen earlier in the video i got them each for five oh, i'm sorry total for five grand um she looks good you can see there's a dent in the passenger door i get my uh guy to take that out for like 200 bucks it's not really a big deal um hit these headlights up again so but the thing with this thing is right here she's only got like one one something on the clock So, leather straight. I don't know why this thing looks so dark. But any which way, um, it's good. The leather's good in this car. I love it. She rides out. Trucks, man. Trucks, I don't care what the economy's doing. I'll be honest with you. Trucks are always going to stay around. You, you remember that? That's my baby. That's my girl. That's my girl's truck. Um, I mean, it's my truck, but that's her truck. She loves that truck. But, you know, it's missing the, the two new covers. But still, over here in this area, I'll be honest with you, uh, my friend's got one of these avalanches, and his has 180,000 miles. 190,000 miles, and he, um, 
he got five grand for it. And it wasn't even the Z71. It was nowhere as good shape as this is. So I know this one, I'll get off of 5,000. And when I do, that'll basically just put the money back for this and the, the Denali and the black Denali at the shop will be straight profit. So I stand, like I said, you already know, I brought home my Benz. So funny story. Check this out. Um, like I said to you, the, the chrome pieces on the bottom are missing. You see that chrome piece? It's supposed to run the whole way through. So, <laughs> dude said, oh, yeah, they're in the trunk. I opened the trunk to look at it, and they were in there, but there was only two in my head. I'm thinking, okay, passenger, driver, and sure as shit, I, um, I, uh, didn't realize that you need four, because every door gets one. So, anyway... This is her. You already seen it, so that's that. And there's, like I said, that's my baby right there. Again, like I said, guys, if you guys think you can't buy cars right now, or it's hard to buy cars right now, I'm not saying that it's that's that it's not hard. What I'm saying is it's not impossible. Just change. There's a bat right there. Just change, change your style, man. You know, don't don't be so. No, they're actually little birds. Look like we got bats. There's a preserve over there. Don't be so uh, stuck on the ways, you know what I mean? Like, don't be so, oh, it's got to be front line, it's got to be this, it's got to be that. Yo, you might have to take take a few hits, you know. When I say take hits, it's time, you know, time. Get yourself a mechanic, get these cars put back together or sell them broken. Or just go back to what you know. And what you know is buying on Facebook. What you know is buying on Craigslist. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm a beast when it comes to that. I'm not even going to front. I'm, I'm not bragging or anything like that. You can ask anyone on my team, bro. Anyone on my team. I get people holding cars for weeks for me. I had them hold that Benz for a week and a half for me. A week and a half at 6,500. Seven grand. Held it at seven grand, got there and talked them down. And there goes my, my Volvo right there. Look, you guys think I'm fronting? I told you, I told you, I got it. I'll talk to you guys later, all right? Open the door. I got you. That's my best friend.